Honduras, the country that will make you turn to Jesus. I'll give you five reasons not to visit Honduras. Number five, crime. The crime rate is one of the highest in the world. If you end up in a robbery, just hand over the items. Don't fight back. This country is bad. It has no justice. It's not worth defending your property. Leave valuable items at home. It's best to avoid going to grey areas. Stay near the touristy areas. Especially if you're American. Even if you're a brown American, you're still an American and a target. And you'll be taken advantage. Never fight criminals. Never take drugs. Prisons are insane. Honduras men are very gay in prison. So be extra careful when you're out and about. Number four, things to do. Since crime is rampant, you can't freely roam around and see the streets to its fullest. It's not possible without security and the country is run by street gangsters. There's not much things to do anyway, other than to taste different delicacies, visit a beach and forest, see different animals, make sure you hire a reputable company. This should be fully inclusive with your hotel. There are cases where the worst happened if you hire the wrong people or the wrong company. You'll be kidnapped and your family will be made to pay a ransom. Kidnappings are common. Don't bring any kids with you. Family vacations in this country is never worth it. You'll be safer in Iran. You'd rather be a woman in Afghanistan than be a woman in Honduras. It's so bad for women. Women need to travel with their significant other or else they will not be seen again. Why do you think so many women make the journey to the land of the free, the United States of America? It's not always about money. <laughs> Safety, law and order are some of the things they look for. God bless the USA. Number three, better countries. There are better countries in Central America. Why not go to Costa Rica or Guatemala? Did you know Guatemala have some of the best foods in the world? If you have allergies, be careful. I won't trust tree food with my life. Neither should you. It's not worth it. Number two, food and drink. The water is horrible. You're not going to die. Bottled water could be fake. Just know what you're buying. If you're not too sure, boil the bottled water. Just be on the safe side. Honduras food is rich in flavor. The goodness always gets taken away because of the crimes. When your mind is in a bitter state, the food always tastes awful. That's why Honduras food is not the best in the world. Because of these horrendous crimes. You need to be in a happy mood to taste fine food. Number one, language. There are going to be language barriers. People speak Spanish. Who in the red, white and blue hell speaks Spanish? Most black and white Americans can only speak American English. So it's not going to work out. So many Americans get lost on vacation. You need to plan in advance. Have a tour guide, which is the obvious thing to do. Don't risk going alone. Solo travelers are a bunch of losers anyway. They have no friends. You need friends and family to have a good time. It's Central America. It's the scary part of the world. Best thing is to not go. Don't go. If you do, be safe. Uh, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment and subscribe. See you next time.